I feel many people see Kim Possible as a composite character. She's there to serve the goal and be the strong, independent, James Bond-type girl power character. The whole show in general and shows following that were determined to find ways of equalizing gender norms with their preconceived media and a lot of Kim Possible. The show's weight came in the fact that she was a girl and she can do anything, allegedly. She, she really can't do everything. Although we were getting much better in finding and making media that isn't about girls doing this thing that guys can and that's it, people tend to forget that Kim is her own character. Which to be fair happens a lot in these shows and movies. What if we did that thing, but with a girl? Forget characterization. What's that? But Kim does actually have a character, so let's break her down and get to know the real Kim Possible. What else are you gonna do on the Kim Possible channel? Let's start by looking into Kim's family. We can get some ideas about outside influences that contribute to her personality. For those who are unfamiliar, Kim's kind of got an overachieving family. Kim's mother, and Possible, is a brain surgeon at the local hospital. Her father, James Possible, is a rocket scientist who works at the Middleton Space Center. Yes, this town has, like, everything. Draken and Sheagle were spotted breaking into the Middleton Magnetic Institute. Didn't know there was one, but I'm on it. Her younger twin brothers, Jim and Tim, are also super gifted, to the point where they skip several grades. Kim herself is seen as academically gifted, but never to the extent of her parents and brothers. So, did I pass? Why would the best student driver I've ever seen insist on retaking her test only to lower her grade? Which might have pushed her opportunistic approach to life. The only time there's any issue with this is in season 4's Trading Places. Anyway, Kim is noticeably upset by the fact that her brothers are in high school with her, and her dominance about her lifestyle bleeds through here. There is no way you two are freshmen. Hey Amanda, see you in science. It must be a mistake, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. That being said, it's more about the space capacity than them actually being gifted in their own right, which can be written off as her just being a teenager. Space and control is an identity-defining idea for teenagers, so I would say Kim still has to define herself by her school and activities in order to have some sense of identity, especially because her family each have pretty defining roles for themselves. She even warms up to it by the end of the episode. So do I. They have my back, now I have theirs. Pick a pick a boo hoo so if this was a real problem, then it would not have been so easily dismissed. In a lot of situations, Kim is the plot's straight man, while Ron is the idealist. Much of her dialogue with Ron is bringing him down and being the point of reason. Besides that, she's a standard perfectionist, without really being one. Her overabundance to help people and take on just about anything people will ask her is all about her fundamental reasons to be accepted. Let's face it, Kim has a ton of acquaintances, both from school and her world saving, mostly people giving her rides. We're here! Thanks for the lift, Heinrich. Oh, Kim, you silly. But you can argue that her only real friends are Ron and Monique. As much as she wants to put herself out there, people don't care that she saves the world, or think it's weird even. But her awkwardness in social situations and her desire to help leads to people taking advantage of her. Apologize. What? Or keep her busy from having a real social life. Kim Possible doesn't really have a social life. Let that sink in for a second. How about frozen yogurt? Uh, my treat. Have a life. Other people would think that just because she's a cheerleader, that automatically leads to her popularity. Well, that's a thing. It's conceived, but not really there. One of the greatest examples that really put this into play is mind games, where even people like Braun are put to the test as far as their expectations about Kim's life. That's the other piece of this. People have this general overassumption that Kim doesn't really need anything else, that she's got a cakey life. That's a general thinking pattern, by the way. People tend to oversimplify others and their understanding of others in order to make sense of it. That's why it's hard for people with general disagreements to understand someone else's argument if there's not a lot of open-mindedness going on. For example, just because I'm a YouTuber with my subscriber number doesn't mean every project I do is going to be successful. It doesn't mean people really know me as a person because I make content on YouTube. People tend to judge someone at first glance, sometimes never really wanting to look deeper because they don't like their own viewpoints being challenged. I've met some very narrow-minded people out there that have a hard time separating their perceptions from their understanding. But I feel like healthy people in general should try to challenge their perceptions. If not, then it's not worth your time. Instead of seeing Kim Possible as a female action hero, 
maybe you should consider Kim Possible the basic girl who pushes herself because of her basic instincts to help people, and to put herself in unfamiliar situations because that basic need takes priority. Feel better? I'm just a regular person. I'm into cheerleading and boys, sometimes, you know, regular stuff. You do incredible stuff. You save the world, Joss. I'm just, you know, me. That's all I ever try to be. And it turned out that sometimes being me is enough to save the world. As I discussed in my Kim Possible live action movie review, which you should watch if you want to, the biggest fundamental flaw that the film produces is that Kim does all this humanitarian work to serve as a sense of ego, and not for the fundamental belief in selflessness. Although she's competitive in nature, she understands that when someone is better at something than she is. I think that's the tell of a true hero, not just fighting bad guys on screen, but caring enough to just help people just because that's who you are. So what characters do you want me to analyze next? Or analyze next? Let me know in the comments, I guess, right? Because that's what YouTube tells me to do. And that's all, folks, except it's not time for the ending gag. Hey, Weed, what's the sitch? Too much pink energy is dangerous. Did you just wipe a booger on my roof? Let's go, let's go! During a pursuit, never distract the driver! You got it, dude! Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please remember to leave a comment and share this video with a friend or viewer five. Click here to subscribe, we really appreciate it. Click here to check out the main collaborator for the video. Click here to check out our video playlist for this video, where you'll find similar videos that you might just like, hopefully. There's also a credit scroll here to check out all the other awesome contributors. All their info is in the description. That's all I gotta say, KP away!